now have elements of the environment that we cannot sense. There's no sense to pick up electromagnetic fields in the environment. And the problem is that they are dangerous. What's happening with EMF and stress? Well, let me differentiate between the stress that we feel as a body and the stress that each individual cell feels when it is assaulted by, by some stimulus in the environment. If you take the kind of stress that occurred to us as individuals, total body, they, they cause us to start breathing more heavily, uh, our heart starts pumping more, uh, more rapidly, more vigorously. These are the kinds of things that one is accustomed to calling stress. Cells have stresses on them as well. The stress hormones are similar to the uh, adrenaline and cortisol that's secreted by our cells when we are stressed as a body. So these stress proteins are, are made by the cells when they are assaulted by EMF the EMF actually causes the DNA to come apart. These occur at very low energy. The kinds of changes that are generated are significant changes in the chemistry of the body. And one of the things that people have been saying is that the energy of the radio frequency waves is not sufficient to cause a chemical change because it cannot knock electrons out of atoms. Well, the physicists are right. You cannot knock electrons out of atoms with radio frequency radiation, but you can generate a whole lot of biochemical reactions in the cell, and we know that you can actually attack and cause changes in the DNA. You can actually break apart DNA, cause it to fragment, little pieces come off it, when you just expose them to uh, electromagnetic field. You're not safe even if you're tucked away, uh, you know, in the safety of a uterus which is a nice thick walled organ internal and should not be accessible to this kind of uh, in, you know, radiation. Mother Nature tells us, the living cells in our body tell us that EMF is potentially harmful. Those who insist on the thermal criterion are generating standards that protect no one but perhaps corporate interests. Where are we headed? It doesn't look too good. <laughs> <laughs> I think there, there are very few controls that are in there now. Without controls, we're just going to keep on proliferating and more and more of this. I think what's going to happen is that people will probably, there'll be a point where so many people will be affected as it will, uh, it will change the way we do things. Change occurs in a society when it has some kind of crisis. And I think the crisis may come uh, sooner than we expect. You mean when the body count adds up to the point that they have to wake up? Is that what you see for a crisis? Yeah, body count not necessarily dead people, but body count of people who cannot function in society the way it is.